I'm using the zoom in order to keep social distance. Yeah. Please, please introduce yourself and speak loudly because it's a very small microphone. What are we? Uh, who, who are you? How did we meet? And what have we just started talking about? What time does it get dark? <laughs> <laughs> I'll lend you a flashlight if the interview goes on too long. Uh, Let's try and do it in three minutes. Okay, right. Shoot. So, uh, what what's the requirements again? The requirements are that you introduce yourself including perhaps your previous profession because yeah. that adds weight as far as I'm concerned. Okay, yeah. Okay, um, I met my friend here uh, asking directions. I suppose that is uh, true to life in any case, uh, a direction asker. Uh, and as a result of that, we got talking about, believe it or not, I should say a combination of politics and religion. Yes, uh, fair comment. And in the case of politics, I think we both have established before I leave, before he leaves, uh, that um, in fact I have been all the way along uh, a Brexiteer. And I am in my political life a Brexiteer. And yeah. I'm actually quite impressed with, I think he's, he looks arrogant, still uh, impressed with Nigel Farage. What impresses you about Nigel Farage? Because he's got the backup of a lot of middle class people who would actually see him as a class traitor for what he, how he's leading the working class more than the middle class. You have studied Farage much more than I have. I've always thought whether he's right or wrong, he is fairly consistently right or wrong. Um, it, it seems to me in his general approach. He's more trustworthy than your average politician. You're putting words into my mouth. That, that's a question. <laughs> Are you an average politician? Oh, oh no, definitely not. I'm far no, no, from average. Okay. <laughs> Um, I honestly wouldn't know in comparison, and um, but you trusted in him more than Theresa May, for example. Uh, yes, I would. I would. I would certainly, definitely do that. I've heard him debate at Oxford and things like that. And so oh, the Oxford Union. Yeah, the Oxford Union. Yeah. Your connection with the Oxford Union, because no, I was there was at, with Boris Johnson. It was on the telly. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, and he was. He's very. He's very eloquent. He's very persuasive. Um, what would you put on his grave? This man knew where he was going and tried to carry a lot of people with him, but probably without success. And Theresa May's grave? I was reflecting on this today. Right. Strong and stable are not the words that could go on Theresa May's grave, although it's what people hope from the Conservative government generally. Right. But it, right. it does yeah. not sum up Theresa May, although she tried to get re-elected on that basis and lost lots and lots of seats. Yeah. Any idea what we could put on Theresa May? Um, no, she did, she dithered with that. Brexit, but, 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 but did her best and didn't destroy too much wheat in the process. Right. Something like that? Yeah, I honestly wouldn't have a clue because I, I, I never sort of, you know, cottoned on to her uh, and realised, I suppose, in a sense, when she went and, and, oh, and why she went. You didn't see that she was wasting an awful lot of time and, lose, and, and sh making sure that because she didn't know what Brexit means Brexit meant, she, um, people lost an awful lot of confidence in the political system during the time of her premiership. Yes, that is true. Yes, yes. I, I, I mean, I do see that. Over, okay, so her, her grave could be Go good-natured whilst overseeing the collapse of public confidence in government. In government? Not, not just in, sort of, in Tory party? I, I don't believe that I got more votes as an independent candidate than any other candidate due to my merits alone. I didn't knock on a single door. I think, I think I got 565 votes because people saw that I was the only choice if they were disillusioned with the three main parties and more people were disillusioned and willing to express that at the ballot than at any previous, in any previous election. That's my theory. I mustn't delay you further. I, 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 I must, I, I, I must please, go or my wife will be saying, where are you? Thomas, you've been talking again, haven't you? <laughs> and the listening. answer I've is... I've been listening. Yes, I've been listening the, the, uh, you can show the evidence that you've been talking because you'll have a link to this YouTube film. Thank you, Thomas. Thank it's been you. a pleasure meeting it's you. See you nice again in Bleen Woods sometime. Yeah, uh, we shall. Bye. Okay. Thanks very much.